Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Fitbit Alta with your smartphone, PC or Mac. Let's get started. Now before we get started with the setup, let's make sure you have everything you'll need. So make sure you have your smartphone, Mac or PC ready. Make sure you have the Fitbit Alta and all the accessories. So the charging cable as well as the Bluetooth dongle. Now for this first part, we're going to go through this with the iPhone, but it should be very similar if you're using an Android device. The first thing you want to do is download the Fitbit app. So go into the Google Play or the Apple App Store, just type in Fitbit and it should come up first. Download the free Fitbit app, install it on your device, and then tap to open it. Now it's going to give you this screen here. What we want to do is tap on join Fitbit. Now if you've already had a Fitbit device previously, you can just log in with your information and bypass this whole part, but we're going to go through the whole process. We'll tap join Fitbit. We'll tap on the Alta at the top. Now you want to make sure that this is close by because it will need to connect to it later on. We'll tap set up your Fitbit. We'll tap let's go. And I'm just going to go through this quick, but put in your information. And then on this page here, you want to put in your name, your email, a password, and then you want to click right here where it says agree to the terms. Once you've done that, hit next. Next, you want to tap agree, then we'll hit next. So now it's going to try to find your tracker. It's also giving you some suggestions on screen. So if things aren't working, do that. But it's found mine and it's asking me to put in the numbers that are on my tracker. So I'm going to go ahead and input those numbers right now. 8828. And then we'll wait. Now you can see it's ready. It's giving you some information on how to wear it. We'll tap next. We'll tap next again, next again, next again. You can read through this. I'm just not going to. And it's giving you information on how basically it works. So once you're done here, what do you want your Fitbit Alta to call you? I'm just going to leave it at D. Tap next. Then you want to tell which hand you're going to put it on. I would suggest you put it on your non-dominant hand. And that would be my left. And you can decide which way you want the screen to appear, whether it's vertical or horizontal. It'll look like this. Choose that. And it's showing you some more information. And then hit done. It's going to log you in. And you should be all set up with your Fitbit. So the first thing we want to do is go to this page here. It's Fitbit.com slash setup. And we're going to scroll down and it should say download for Mac or download for Windows. Depending on what you're using, select it down here if you don't see it. Otherwise, just click download. Once it's installed, double click and it'll open up. Once the package has opened, we'll click on install Fitbit Connect. Double click on that. By all means, read through everything if you feel more comfortable. And now it should be the same for both Mac or PC. It'll look exactly like this. We want to click on continue. We'll click continue again. We'll click agree. It'll tell you that it's going to take 75.3 megabytes of space on your computer, which isn't much at all. And then click install. If you're prompted to enter in your computer password, go ahead and do so. And a page should pop up. We can close everything else. It'll say set up new Fitbit device sync now we'll click set up new fitbit device we'll say we're new to fitbit if you have an account feel free to put it in we're going to go and enter in an email and a password and then click agree to fitbit terms service then click on sign up at the bottom right on this page go and put in your information and then click sign up then select your fitness tracker in this case we're using the alta now it's asking us to plug the charging cable into the usb port connect your tracker and make sure the gold pins are aligned. I'm also going to plug in the wireless dongle and we'll click next. And now it's going to search for our Fitbit. Once it's located your Fitbit, it's going to ask you to put in the numbers on your fitness tracker. So once again, we'll enter those in and we'll click next. Now it's gonna to connect to our Fitbit. Now our Fitbit is connected and it'll sync whenever it's within 20 feet of your computer. That is, if you have the dongle connected. We'll just click next on all of these next pages here. When you get to this page here, make sure you select your non-dominant wrist. That's what's recommended. And we'll click next again. Select how you want it to look. Click next. 
We'll keep going and then we'll be on our dashboard here and this is where you're going to be able to track and see how everything's going on your computer. So that is it. You should be all set up with your Fitbit Alta. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll definitely help you out and give you a hand if you need it. Also, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share the video. Follow me on social media. All my links are in the description below and I'll see you in the next one.